In a significant development in the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, the British Army Intelligence Services revealed that Russia has likely begun employing its A-50 Mainstay D aircraft in a new operational capacity over Ukraine. This Advanced Airborne Early Warning and Control AEWNC, aircraft is now being used to identify targets for the S-400, NATO designation SA-21, Russia's long-range, ground-based air defense missile system. The A-50 Mainstay D, an upgraded version of Russia's primary AEWNC platform, is equipped with sophisticated radar and surveillance capabilities. Its primary function has traditionally been to coordinate fighter aircraft operations. However, in this new role, the mainstay is extending its capabilities to enhance the effectiveness of ground-based air defense systems. One of the key advantages of using the A-50 Mainstay D in conjunction with the S-400 NATO designation SA-21 Triumph system lies in its radar capabilities. Operating at high altitudes, the Mainstay's radar can detect adversary aircraft at significantly longer ranges than ground-based radars. This is due to its ability to see over the curvature of the Earth, thus providing earlier detection and a broader surveillance area. The SA-21, known for its long-range, multi-target capabilities, becomes even more formidable with the mainstay support. The S-400 system also referred to as the SA-21 Growler in NATO terminology, is capable of engaging targets at distances up to 400 kilometers and can track hundreds of targets simultaneously. The integration of the A-50 mainstay D with the SA-21 system appears to be a strategic move by Russia, partly driven by concerns over Ukraine potentially deploying combat aircraft provided by Western allies. This integration enhances the overall situational awareness and defensive capabilities of Russian forces in the region. However, this new strategy is not without risks. The deployment of the mainstay closer to the front lines, as suggested by British intelligence, indicates that Russia may be willing to accept greater risks to ensure the effectiveness of its air defense network. This move could potentially expose the mainstay to threats from advanced anti-aircraft systems and combat aircraft. This development marks a significant escalation in the technological warfare being employed in the Ukraine conflict and underscores the evolving nature of modern aerial combat and defense strategies.